Hello, brilliant baristas, and welcome to Cup Dates from August 24th. I just started my timer so I can watch it and not have this be too long. All right. What we're going to talk about is undesirable persons at the shop, um, our new quadrant cleaning plan, which I'm so excited about. The menu reboot and a new promotion uh, date night, Friday and Saturday night. So those are the four things we're going to talk about. First one, undesirable persons. Um, I'm just going to tell you the story of what happened today and then we can use that story to talk about it. Um, do you know Pigeon Lady who has the, the carries the pigeon on her shoulder? Well, we had a customer on the patio today who was enjoying reading her book and Pigeon Lady came and sat across from her. She was sitting on the, um, not the couch, but the chair, couch chair, the lounge chair. And so uh, Pigeon Lady sat uh, across from her. And Rick and I had already talked to our customer a couple of times because we were asking about how she liked the misters and if she was worried about her book getting wet and so on. And so we were already out talking to her for a bit. So I saw that that was happening and I saw that they were talking. And so I went out and started wiping down tables and um, talking to both of them, just upbeat talking to both of them. Um, I walked around to the walk-up window and started dusting the trellis. And I saw our customer stand up, give Pigeon Lady $5, and leave. So I fetched Rick. Luckily, he was there. And we both talked to her. And we told her that she can't do that, um, that she can't ask for money uh, at our coffee shop, which we have um, had this conversation with her once before already. Side note. We've gone a whole year without having this situation. Um, we were kind of thinking this situation would be more common than it is, so this is great. So we spoke with her and we told her she can't do this. And she kept saying she didn't ask for money, she didn't ask for money. And, and I told her um, she had a sign of from when she was holding on the corner. Like, well, that's kind of a... A clue right there and then I told her that I could smell her from even cleaning the tables and that that is not uh, nice for our, for our other customers and I also told her that if someone's reading a book they probably don't want to chat with a stranger um, and um, I think those were all the messages given to her um, and it was made clear that it's not to happen again. Um, so, oh. what I want to instill in everybody first and foremost is don't just let things fly. Like, don't just turn a blind eye. At least uh, send a message to open chat, to my text message. Uh, call me if it that would be great if it's actively if you think somebody is bothering a customer or if somebody is bothering any any of you call me right away um, and either I will help you figure out how to handle it or I will come over and handle it um, if she comes on the patio again and bothers anybody or bothers anyone inside the hut outside of reasonable behavior for customers she'll be trespassed and that's what I want to also make sure everybody understands what that is and what that means so when someone's trespassed the police come they do a trespassing uh, report and then that person is informed that they're not welcome back and if they come back then they can be fined uh, for trespassing um, so yeah so each situation is very very different 
what I don't want is for blind eyes to be turned when anyone's getting uh, feeling uncomfortable. And uh, some of the other stories we've had is uh, we had someone talk at the camera, um, disgruntledly talking at the camera. <laughs> um, and I think that person just got it out of their system and left. Uh, they weren't being aggressive with anyone. Um, we, if, 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 if that person was um, scaring off other customers, I, we would, so layer of protocol, right? Call Rick and I, we would come over, ask them to leave. Um, if we're not in town, we would ask that you ask them to leave. If you're not comfortable with that, then we skip that step and go to the police. And you call the non-emergency Chubbuck police number um, and tell them that there is a person that you want trespassed, that they are um, making people uncomfortable. Um, so I will uh, include these steps in the notes and I'll include the steps on some group me's and stuff. Um, and uh, um, I wonder if I can pause this. I don't know. I'm not going to risk it. <laughs> okay. Uh, or maybe I'll just do shorter, shorter cup date. Uh, yeah. Okay. So that's all for that one for um, undesirable people. I'm going to answer a text and we will pick up with quadrant cleaning, menu reboot, and date night. Woo woo. Please leave a comment so that I know you watched this video. And always be safe and um, always call me. I'll help. I promise. Okay.